everyone. It's Buddy with Gemini Homestead. Bring you out here to the garden. Uh, you know, Miss Lippy uh, had a little accident a couple times. Last one uh, wasn't real good. Hurt her back, she slipped. We had this billboard tarp all in here, as y'all seen before. And it works great for a weed barrier. Keeps the weeds down. You don't have to worry about nothing growing under it. Bad thing about it is when the leaves fall, a little water gets on it, it gets so slick, I'm gonna tell you what, you can't stand up on it. So, keep her from getting hurt again. I come up with the idea. I went down to our mill where we get all our soil and stuff for our raised beds, and they have what they call playground material. And it's uh, real finely, you can see it's stringy chipped, but uh, packs real well and takes all the slip out. Let me show you some of it. Not real thick. As you can see, it's just finely chipped, some a little bigger than other, but when it gets in there and gets laid down, it gets packed down like carpet. And then it's not a sopping mud hole, not slick. So hopefully that'll work and she won't fall no more. But uh, I just want to show you what we had done and I'm gonna turn it over to Miss Lippy and let her uh, kind of take you around and uh, let you see where we're at right now. Hey, y'all, I love my playground. That's what we're calling it, my playground. Only thing is, if I fall again and he finds out, he said he put me in a playpen. That ain't happening. Now, I'm gonna tell you, it was rough on the knees, but hey, I love this stuff. But come on, let me show y'all the garden. We're gonna start over here. There's some sweet potato slips that I'm trying. This came from uh, Deep South Homestead. It's purple sweet potatoes. I wasn't sure if they were gonna make it, but they're doing fine, so I've got me some slips. And over here we've got the cucumber. They're doing well. Now remember, these are the pickling that you're gonna see on both sides. Um, and the slicers, of course, is on that Cherokee tan runner that's over there. Uh, but they're doing great. Uh, this is where I plant them anyway every year. And then we've got some squash here, some seed starts. They're doing great in here. And then another squash. And look at this, y'all. Now, I don't know if he can get in between this because I designed my garden for me to fit. But my zucchini. Y'all remember the potato beetles was tearing them up. Well, I remedied that. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all know, before blooms, I do use seven dust. I'm, I'm not going to lie to y'all. Um, I ain't going to pretend to be somebody I'm not. I do use seven dust. When the blooms get on, uh, no. But normally the potato beetles will start right now. So if he'll man around, this is, of course, you're going to see green beans, and these are bush beans. And then you're going to see more zucchini blended in. And then, of course, we have the squash here. Now, I do have a squash right around here. Let me see if I can get y'all in to show you. Right about here. And he might be able to get the camera down. I had posted it on Instagram, but there is a squash up in there. I don't know if y'all can see it. Right Look, there it is. in there. So the squash is doing good. Now over here, we've had to modify the beds to make room for all these tomatoes. Y'all remember, now that we're, you know, in a separation, I couldn't sell my tomatoes this year. I wasn't gonna let them go to waste. So we actually have tomatoes coming out of our ears, but you can bet I'm gonna put every one of them up. So these are the tomatoes. And again, as y'all can see, let me back up and show y'all right where he's standing. Remember, this is how I label them. I've got a stick with an arrow. This is the Tommy Toe, okay? Now, all the way down is Tommy Toes because I had way so many until we get to the next stick. That's where we stopped it. Um, that's just how I label my garden. It just makes it easier, and I don't have like a 100 of those little cards. And of course, rosemary. Y'all, I pick it, and I walk around and chew on it. Good for your breath, though. Then I've got some celery planted here. And you'll see I've got a, a mixture of little small pollinators blended in.
I've got two little pepper plants here. These are bell pepper. I wasn't sure they were going to make it. Potato beetles ate them up, but I'm starting to see new leaf, new growth, so I think we're going to be fine there. And then here's our other tomatoes. This is our normal tomato bush anyway. And as they grow up, we will be using clips throughout here. This works well, y'all. Then we come down. And we have peppers. A lot of peppers. Ooh, that was tight rosemary. Ooh. These are hot peppers. I do keep my hot peppers completely separated. Um, I've made the mistake years ago, and it may have not been, but a banana pepper tasted like a hot jalapeno. And I said no more. Mm -mm. So, let's see, what do we have here? This is a banana. That's the closest one, and we ran out of room, so he put this here for me. We're gonna see what happens. Potatoes are doing good. I've got another squash. I've got eggplant still in the greenhouse, but we got another repeat of storms coming tomorrow, which is Sunday. So a week ago tomorrow, a week ago, yeah, tomorrow would have been Easter when we had those horrible tornadoes. And um, if y'all don't know Southern Bella home, Sheridan Todd, if you would um, send them some prayers. Tornado hit their home place. Didn't damage the home, but but damage their, their home place. So we need to keep them in our prayers, y'all. And anybody else, you know, across Mississippi, Georgia was hit hard. Please keep those in your prayers. So I didn't want to bring those out with the storms coming, but I've got another eggplant going in right here. And we're gonna take you around the back side. Now, if y'all remember last week, I told you about the watermelons, okay? Well, the watermelons are not going in until after the storms, but I've got the three over here. And as you can see, he'll show you. Yeah. Doves don't eat stems. Yeah, they just, they, they took them out. Took them out, but that's okay. We got a net, and I'm gonna put, I've got some bird netting, and I've got some bamboo sticks, and I'm gonna drape them. I won't have to worry about them doves no more. Of course, here's, remember I named this one breakfast, and I had lunch, and I had supper. Well, they ate breakfast, lunch, and supper all in one day. And then right here, he, he can back up. There's going to be one more cantaloupe put here. Then I'm going to try to put in three more purple hole peas, because down this area is going to be eight buckets of purple hole peas. So that's going to give me 11 20-gallon buckets of the purple hole pea tops, meaning I pluck from the top. I don't want to be digging my hands up in there. We have a lot of snakes. Um, so these are top picks. That's the what I prefer. Now, they come in abundance, and then they just peter out. So we're going to see how they do. Now, right here, y'all, is the new home to the okra. We got the ground cover in. We're waiting for this next band, and we're going to get the St. Augustine up. He's going to till it, put some mushroom compost down, lay the ground cover, and we should get four rows. And how many plants did you say, bud? Well, you'll have four 30-foot rows. Four 30-foot rows. I'm excited. That is, I am so, so excited to, uh, to have been able to extend and get the amount of okra that I want. Um, we're big okra eaters. So now we'll come through here. Oh, and we did find a place for our blackberries. We've got two of them. You see one right here. We do have a new place for it. Uh, I'll do a video showing y'all where we're going to put it. It's, I'm excited. So we'll come back around here. Now these are just some um, onion bulbs that I've got in here. And these are all mixtures of banana, uh, the lipstick, cubanelle, and bell pepper. So these are all in the sweet family right here. Mostly bell pepper, because uh, you can't have enough bell pepper. And then of course you've got the, the herbs right here. And then I have the herbs as we're gonna walk out. So this is the, this is pretty well where we're gonna stop on what we're adding to the summer garden. 
because like I said, we actually get two plantings for summer, summer crops. Tomatoes actually do better in the fall. Um, that's gonna be a little tricky trying to set my brassicas, but since we've got all these totes now, I'm gonna be able to save a lot of room in these beds. Um, and this fall, those beds are gonna get built up. No more getting on the ground. That's what got me in a bind the other day when I fell. So we'll walk through here and I'll show you uh, the other little potato bed. But everything looks good, y'all. It's got life in it. It's, um, I'm very pleased so far this year. Um, I'm comfortable. And last year I, I struggled. I overworked. I tried the new stuff. And I had, a, I think, a lot of anxiety. And when I said, you know, I'm going back to my way of gardening, things are doing very well. You know, you got to find what works for you. Um, my way may not work for you. Your way may not work for me. So you got to find that happy place and, and stay strong to it. Keep doing what you're used to doing. It's going to profit you in the long run. You'll get a better yield. You'll get food on your table and you won't be stressed. Last year, I actually despised gardening, not just with weather, with bugs, just there was a whole lot of stress. And I was like, you know, I don't know if I want to garden anymore. I just soon just go by. But I said, you know, just go back to your old way and see what happens. And here you go. The proof's in the pudding, y'all. And this is some lemon balm. And I've got some thyme here. And this is that suckling I got from Sarah, uh, actually last September. Um, and it's doing fantastic here, so it's going to do well in our climate. And then here is, let's see, oh, I've got more bell peppers here. What do I have here? I have a sweet bell. Oh, this is a new one, y'all. It's called Mama Mia. I don't even know where the seeds came from. Um, but it's looking good. Now, from what I researched, I've got three peppers in here. We're going to see. That may be too many. And then another uh, sweet bell, but these are reds. So, and then here is the Yukon Gold bed. That's what I call it. Now, this is the bed now that I'm going to double. Since this is the third year, these have done so well right here. We're going to go ahead and extend it out. I'm not going to change where these potatoes go. They've done too well, and as you can see, y'all, it is shade. And when we harvest, you're gonna be su surprised. I've never seen potatoes grow in semi-shade. And it, well, actually, I would almost call it shade, and he trimmed trees last week. I think y'all saw the video. So I'm gonna extend it out, but this is my Yukon Gold, and um, about four weeks, we'll be ready to harvest. So there's a little garden tour. Um, if I add something new, I'm gonna share it with y'all. I'm not going to walk over there to the slicers because we're going to be in the wind and you won't be able to hear me anyway. So I think it's time for me to go get some lunch, rest my back. I'm walking today and that's a, that's a benefit. That's a blessing. So hopefully get a cooking video out. I'm not promising, but I'm going to try y'all. I'm going to try to get back now that I've got a lot of the hard stuff done. You know, maybe I can get back to making some more videos, watching some more videos. Y'all know how it is this time of year. We can't even see straight, and we love every minute. But until next time, God bless you all.